Welcome back to another video at Trading IQ. This is Shoram Patasharji. In today's video, we are going to dig in deep and analyze another important sector which is performing very good compared to the overall market that is the reality sector and I'm also going to look at some important stocks within reality sectors which I'm looking at and those are in my watch list and I will share my perspectives on where will I buy based on Stan Winstein stage analysis. So without further ado, let's jump into my screen and let's do some chart analysis using Stan Winstein stage analysis. chart of nifty reality index and uh, this is the complete picture from 2007 to till date and this chart is working out pretty beautifully reality sector had uh, seen its struggle after the 2008 crash it is because of the reality sector uh, it never stood up to that level which it was before you see this was the peak it was doing absolutely great and uh, people were earning money from I mean, the, the prices of uh, the houses were, were pretty cheap. People were buying houses and, you know, the housing bubble caused the 2008 stock market crash. So again, so uh, there are a lot of uh, documentary, there are a lot of movies around it. You can watch it. Uh, the Big Short, which I like the most, uh, and there are a lot of other movies. But again, let's let's come back to uh, the chart again. So let me draw some key resist support and resistance level like a trading range. So here is the trading range. And look at very closely. So this was the support level. You see this was a support level. Around 382 range. And it broke past up that level and it did not see that level for over 11 years until it broke past of it in 2021. So you see the significance of this level because if a level is sustained for over 10 years, 12 years, it increased its significance once it break past of that level. So this was the trading range that it uh, formed after after the crash and the, it never stood up to that level like nowhere near to what it was before the stock market crash. So it was hovering between this range and uh, so as you can see this is a long term stage one base because it's a base. This was the stage four decline, heavy steep decline, the decline that you know it never never saw in its history. It was pretty devastating and after which it, so this was the base, see, after this level, it was not going down below, but it was hovering it within a range. It tried to break out of it and then it could not sustain because there was no gas and uh, it moved into this range and it tried to reach that level in 2018, but it could not sustain and then uh, it, it, so it was working as a pretty good supply zone. Now it eventually broke out of it with significant, you see the candle, I, I wish I could show you volume, but uh, there is no volume data for uh, this index. Uh, I see the volume data is only for Nifty and Bank Nifty, which is great, uh, great addition. So you see there are a lot of good heavy green candles around this area the, and, and there were a lot of other stocks which broke out of this their stage one base with significant volume which I'll show you a little later so please watch till the end and uh, it's a request if you're liking this video and if you're liking my content please do subscribe to my channel it will help my channel a lot so it broke past up this uh, key resistance level in 2021 and then uh, due, due to the global recession and uh, the war and other uh, factor like every other sector it also came down but it again broke past of its 30 week moving average and now as you see the 30 week moving average is sort of in the middle of you know deciding whether to go down or up right so it's it's not looking absolutely great like auto sector or like a banking sector however 
because it broke past of this long term stage one base you cannot ignore this sector and there are stocks that i'm going to show you which will give you more better picture on why we should keep these stocks in our watch list for you know future purchases let me share some stocks alongside uh, this sector analysis so this is this is dlf now why this is important because now we can analyze the volume alongside uh, you know the chart that you see itself right 30 week moving average so it is again the similar sort of base similar sort of structure like the like the index right now we, as you can see here when it was breaking out of this level this is the volume that you see 180 million which it never saw which it never saw it it saw the, that type of volume back in 2008 9 time frame when it uh, when it hit that level the, the low level and then it tried bouncing back but could not sustain and uh, moved into this trading range however it is picking up that same sort of volume after 11 12 years there are other other stocks that i'm going to show you this is godrej properties and you see the volume you see the comparative volume from from 2000 you know 8 9 10 time frame to now the comparative volume is pretty great right in, in the current stage there are other stocks that i'm going to share see you you see the peak here because the reality sector moved out of stage 1 to stage 2 base because of of course these stocks these stocks the weightage of these stocks uh, determine the the overall index overall sector uh, the sec sectorial index that's that's why you see the stage 1 breakout so now these are the stocks that i'm looking at dlf now dlf is again uh, showing similar sort of structure now it has i'm looking at this key resistance level let me share that with you this was a resistance level of course after which it it, uh, it it rebounded back because of the global uh, factors and then you know th there was this resistance level back in 2009 if it break past of this level i would definitely have my share but of course i have to look at the subsequent volume that it is breaking out with right if the volume is not significant i would wait because it might create another trading range here and hover between that range so there are a lot of combinations that could happen right it could uh, create a trading range around here or it could break down and come into that uh, this trading range or it could break out of this trading range but since the overall sector is breaking out of stage 1 to stage 2 which is pretty significant because it happened after 11 12 years so the the duration is such that it increased its significance tenfold like uh, unlike other sectors because they were moving out of their ranges they within 2 years 3 years 1 year 6 months but reality sector had its struggle now after it broke past of its stage 1 base we should be optimistic right and these are the stocks that i'm looking at so godrej let, let me share godrej properties it is another stock that i'm looking at see easy after after it saw its peak the high high level around 2600 uh with significant volume because of the global factors it came down and now you see it is creating a good base i would not buy it around here right i would not because i would have to see it break past of this base because you see this is a resistance level this was a resistance and it is a resistance level and this is a support level right so it is it is in between this these two ranges if it break past of this range again with heavy volume like this sort of volume i would have my share right similarly with obri it is in stage 3 it is in stage 3 top because it it did not see a sort of decline it saw this decline and then it uh, bounced back but again it, it came back because it is forming a trading range so if it goes past of this trading range with subsequent volume i would definitely look to buy so these are the stocks that i'm looking at and are in my portfolio i don't yet have i had dlf back in the days uh when i uh not not back in the days means in 2020 period time but i sold it prematurely and you know i get to i get to learn so many things from my past mistakes so again i'm going to work on uh, sharing my uh, 
perspectives on how I learned from my mistakes and what was my learnings and what sort of mistakes I made. So I had DLF uh, when it was around 195 when I sold it prematurely around uh, 270 or around that that figure uh, and then ran with, with um, whatever small profit that I could. But again, uh, I, I don't regret because those were the lessons from which I learned so much, so many things. So yeah, this is the this is the uh, analysis that I wanted to share with you guys. So currently, uh, I would as per my analysis, as per my understanding, it is sort of in hold stage. I am not doing anything as of now because you see there is this uh, downtrend. Let me. There is this downtrend, right? So it has to break out of this downtrend and uh, it has to break uh, break out of this you know high level i mean the recent high uh, before for me to get uh, some confidence that yes this sector is uh, you know getting its strength back because after it it reached this this level um, because of the global factors it is coming down and is trying to rebound back so it is middle of nowhere at the moment right so that's why i'm not uh, yet uh, invested in any of the stocks from reality sector but I'm hopeful I'm watching it very uh, closely and whenever I get a chance uh, of course with subsequent volume the volume has to support my decision and if it does then I'll definitely have some some stocks uh, from reality sector with, with, in my portfolio and I'll share when when I buy those stocks and uh, I'll keep you posted so uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you're liking my approach on sharing uh, my perspectives on, on uh, how I use Stan Winstein stage analysis. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.